Speaking of, you made the news because you called your gay homie and told him you were going to have him fight Saucy Santana for you. Yeah, shout out to Denai. He's one of my guys from the clubhouse. I'm just going to say, I think that I think academics has to fight did his you own see what I gay did? battles. I can tell you what I did now. What I did you do? I can tell you what I did now. It's like a gay hitman, or is it no, just like did, a beating him up thing? Did you see? You didn't really see what Wack did. What? Okay, we watched academics. He was so up and emotional because he felt like he couldn't respond because if he did, he might be blackball, right? Mm-hmm. So he come to Wack. You're like Wack. I don't know what to do, bro. I, if I don't respond. I'm look like this. If I do respond, I might my contracts, right? So I said, no problem. I come up there. I'm gonna fix it for you today. He said, what you gonna do? I said, I'll wing it, right? So the whole call to deny, which is he is a fighter. He's openly bisexual, okay. right? The community within the community, they can say all out kind of outrageous shit to each other, right? No problem, right? But only thing I did is within three hours, I took it off academics and put it all over there. I don't give a fuck if them two people fight or not, but they stopped talking about academics. But it's like, why, why is this a bad thing for academics because, in the first bro, place? Like, bro, he couldn't respond the way, like if that was me saying that, he could respond to me. Look, there's only a couple of things that academics could have said that would have got him in trouble, right? Bro. Calling him the F slur. But that's look, pretty much it. But look what Saucy said about if I told said told a woman, I'm gonna knock you out in, right? Right. They gonna hang my ass. Say that to if I told a female, I'm gonna knock you out and do that to you, right? They, this is a real heterosexual thing. Man, woman. They gonna hang me. But if a gay dude tells a straight man he's going to knock him out and do that to him, right, there is no repercussions for it. But, but be, if that straight man that, responds, they want to blackball him, tell him you out of business. Because Saucy had already threatened the sanctity of academics' butthole, academics could basically say whatever the fuck no, he, he wanted. To, yes, he no, Besides he the F-slur. Nothing is going to get him in trouble Brother, after that. If he can say what he said, actually be able to say what he want to say, but he couldn't. Why? Like I feel like you're misunderstanding how people get canceled. No, Once bro, somebody makes like, a no, violent bro. threat against you, you're not going to get in trouble Look for what, what you say back. <laughs> Look what they did to the baby. The baby just took a random shot at people with AIDS. Why in the fuck cancel him? He didn't sell no lies. I'm with you. But I'm just saying that academics, he, he could have said no whatever he wanted about Saucy Santana. We didn't want to get in trouble for that. Academics, is a, he's, in a, he's a pillar of the hip-hop community, and WAC 100 stepped in there like the cleaner I am and diverted that shit elsewhere. Let me ask you this. That's it. Have you ever been you a, hating on that. Have you ever, no, I'm not. Have you ever been around Saucy Santana? Never. Yachty says that he thinks that Saucy Santana could whoop Ak. Um, Shout out to Yachty. That's nephew. I did my Google. Shout out to QC. They're the, same, the they're, they, the they're the same height. I will not be gaslit. I will not be <laughs> retracted back to the 1700s and have a white man think he's going to turn me against a black man. In the 1700s, there were no dudes with BBLs. There were really no BBLs in general, as How far as I get know. There? Well, well, I think that's like the I main... I don't know nothing about dude. I don't think anybody this, would have you know a what? problem with academics fighting like a regular old gay real. dude. Let I me, think once he has a BBL and nails, that's where it becomes an issue. Let me tell you where it's a bad thing, for a bad spot for me. The city girls are signed to QC. Uh huh. That's my family. Okay. Right? So you can't have an opinion. No, Saucy is defending one of the city girls. Right. Now, I think he's out of line because what academics said wasn't wrong. He just reported... Anybody of that magnitude yeah, that drops Axe an album, said nothing wrong. That drops an album, right? That we're anticipating at least fifty to one hundred thousand copies, mm-hmm. and for whatever reason, it does. You know, numbers that's less than that, right? I don't think Hold anyone on. really expected the City Girls to sell a hundred thousand first week. Their first album, they did two hundred. Did they really? Yeah, their second album, they did a hundred. What the fuck is wrong with people? Right. But we didn't expect the third album to do what it did. But but in defense of that, hip hop urban is down like 40, 50 percent. But also I think people are just kind of bored with like ho rap. No, they not. You can't tell them sexy red that shit. But sexy red is different. She sexy red that. is popping. The people have she's, spoken she's and they have decided rapping. we fuck with sexy red and we don't really care about these other chicks. 
And they fuck with Jaded Alexis. There you go. But she's not really like ratchet, right? No, but you know, she got her thing going on. Compared to her other MILF music signee sister. Who? Krishan. She in trouble. You seen that Braxton shit? What? I guess she went backstage, hit one of the, I don't know if it was a gay dude or what, hit him in the face. It's a gay episode. No, hit him in the face. I don't know if he broke his nose, knocked his tooth out, but um, they called me. Krishan did. Yeah, they called me. Who's Braxton? But okay. I know. Fucking Tony, Tony Braxton. Tony Braxton. I doubt she beat up Tony Braxton. No, no, Tony was there. Right? She was performing for her sister. Tony Braxton. Tamar. Yeah, Tamar. Tamar. Tamar, it was her thing. Tony came on and performed. So Rock shows up demanding to get on stage. Motherfucker, that's Tony Braxton's stage. I guess she tells the dude, you know who I am, and he, pow, let off on him. The d- oh, Bye. she let off on the dude. That's all right. It won't break. Ouch. Look, look, let off on him. And um, he, you know, he would, you know. But now they call me, and I'm like, why are you calling me? I was at a party the other day, French Montana's birthday party. Shout I was kind of wondering French. if I was going to see you there. Didn't see you. Was that his crib? Yeah. Yeah, I found the French. Very sick. I had an issue with that party. What? Some dude there, uh, my homegirl, big girl, went over there and braided his hair. And French's I, hair? No, not French. Oh. She, he tried to play her like a groupie and didn't pay her. Then I had to put in the call and he paid. So your problem was the party as a whole because of one hairstylist? No, the individual. There? That's French Montana. That's family. Okay. We should do a song with French. <laughs> <laughs> we can make that. No, for real. That's family. French is family. Right. But Krishan like, was, was up in that bitch. What there? She, she was like the most famous person there. Like there's people who are like way more established and like successful than her. By far the most attention I saw in the party was all on her. Shout out to Krishan. I thought about saying hi to her, but then I was like, maybe she hates me. I don't know. You should ask her to get on Plug Talk. I love that idea, but I don't really think it's happening. No, I'm trying to fuck Joe Smith's wife. Cameron just got a body massage by Joe Smith's wife. Yeah, I'm trying to take it, it a little bit like further it, it than Cameron. It like they need some money. Cameron all on the podcast get the massage. Never. Yeah, and he mad that he had, she got OnlyFans. I know. Yeah. I feel bad for this. You want to fuck with her because... Of she's cute, or you think because of the, the the clout? I got one standard and one standard only. What is it viral? Joe Smith, I'm sorry. Oh, you trying to get back at a black man because a black man hit your wife? That's a reach. I'm just saying, bro. Shout out to Joe Smith. <laughs> I was That's the maybe I, I don't even it, know him. Maybe I can get his girl on here with you. Hey, yo, I'm, I'm not going to talk about like that. that. I ain't going to talk about something else. Because you, you did some other shit. I ain't going to talk about that. What? All right, because. You've been on some bullshit lately. What was that? I'm not, I, I'm, we gonna talk about it when we bring Ray J up here. Oh, the trans person sitting on the like, yeah, bring see, Ray J see, up Now, so Osama's wondering why you keep making everything about gay stuff. And now no, I'm kind of starting to wonder no, as well. No, because I seen it. I was like, the fuck are you doing? What did your wife say about that? She thought it was funny. Oh, okay. That's white people. She's shit. in favor of my trolling. She's Armenian, like GFS. Yeah, that ain't trolling. Some shit ain't trolling, some shit is serious. That wasn't really that serious. Hey, everybody, we just hit 600K. We're trying to get to 700K, so smack the like button and subscribe. Appreciate y'all.